Yeah, you your driver's license back. I'm not going to issue a citation today. Just be a little bit more careful about that because sometimes drivers get confused and they may run into you. Know? Hey, absolutely. So I, I hate to see you get in a car accident, especially with this nice car. It looks like you got a lot of money invested <laughs> I, into it. I really appreciate that. I I, uh, I understand that uh, this is a police magnet on occasion, so I yeah. I, I, main, I, the, the main thing that attracts us is your exhaust. I yeah. I, so I, I, I'm aware of that. I, I appreciate that yeah. though, and absolutely, so, we'll be more careful. Okay. Do you have any questions, you have any questions for me? <laughs> no, no. I appreciate. Okay. Hey, I appreciate. It. By yeah. the way, my brother's a cop, so I appreciate all the work you guys all right. do. Drive safe. All right, thanks. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy shit. I am getting off on this one. he let me go he was like oh my gosh I, I pulled you over because you didn't make a or you didn't put on your your turn signal when you're pulling into the left lane to make a left and he only asked for my license and not my registration or anything so I was like oh that's good news I was scared shitless right there and he's like oh you're exhausted it's, uh, it's obviously attention drawing and then I started the car back up when I was driving away I was like oh god please don't stop me again that was so lucky that was one of the luckiest experience I've ever had so guys since this happened tonight I had such a good experience with a police officer I really wanted to take a minute here and make this video to talk about the car community's relationship with with police officers. There seems to be this stigma that people in the car community, they're supposed to hate police officers, they're supposed to be pigs or uh, corrupt or whatever it may be. I think most people's opinions is just founded in ignorance. I mean, the social media and the news and everything these days, so many people see like, oh my God, police officer shot and killed this guy when he didn't deserve it or whatever it may be. And yes, those types of things are terrible. There's no excuses for that. But it seems like the majority of people, including myself, have had great experiences with police officers. Whenever we do get tickets, we deserve them. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. I mean, I have a lot of illegal things on my car here. Uh, I've gotten caught speeding. I've had my fair share of tickets. If you guys have been following my videos in my channel, you know I've had a few videos here where I've gotten caught for speeding, license plate, window tints. I haven't gotten caught for the headers and exhaust yet. Pray to Jesus that doesn't happen. If I get a ticket, I have been breaking the law every single time. There have been no excuses. And I think it's the same for you guys. If you get pulled over and you're going 70 and a 65, you know, you can't say, well, I was only going five miles an hour over the speed limit. This guy's a dick, he's a pig, he's whatever. They're just looking for money. You chose to break the law. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. And you have to take personal responsibility for what you've done instead of just looking at one or two incidents of bad cops and, and applying that to all police officers. I actually made a post on my Instagram a few weeks ago asking people to post what their best or worst experience with a police officer was. If you don't follow me, by the way, at Markoon13, just a little shameless plug there. The responses were overwhelmingly positive. Let me, let me read some of these here for you guys. Here's one. Going 125 in a 50 zone, passing an unmarked ram in a no passing. The cop just told us to slow down, didn't even run the information. Very lucky. Racing a friend, going 120 in a 40 zone and getting a warning. Also got pulled over by a state cop going 85 and a 45 and running a red light and got a warning. Clocked at 168 and the cop let me go in Virginia. Going 120 in a 45. Mm. 130 in a 70. Got pulled over. Cop was super cool and we BS'd about the mods I've done to my car for 20 minutes on the side of the freeway. That's a good one. Driving a friend's new SS down a rural North Carolina highway. Got clocked by a county sheriff going 155 in a 55. Didn't run any info. Told us the car sounded awesome but gave me a warning ticket. I still thank him every time that I see him. Got pulled going 88 in a 35. Mm, let's 
110 and a 35, no license, speeding and reckless driving, cop let me go with a verbal warning, got lucky as fuck. <laughs> got pulled over and ticketed for having no cats, state trooper tailed me and said you're choking me with that exhaust. Again, you deserved it, you had no cats. Alright, here's a couple of funny ones. I got caught coming around a 35 mile per hour bend going 15 over and the cop let me off because I told him I was speeding to get to the restroom so I didn't shit myself. Great excuse for you guys to use if you uh, absolutely need to do that, but that one's funny. And my favorite of all. Well, driving back from band practice with one of my guitar players, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was just released and we were speeding 85 and a 60. State Trooper pulled us over and I had the game case of my laptop in the passenger seat. Trooper looked at me and was like, is that the new Call of Duty? We were like, yes it is, sir. Trooper said, I'm not gonna give y'all a ticket or hold you guys up because I know y'all are trying to get home to play that game. And he said he couldn't wait to get home so he could play it himself. People are having good experiences with police officers even when they're going way over the speed limit. They're breaking the law. It seems like people have been very, I don't wanna call it lucky, but the police officers have been very nice to these people. If you wanna see the post, here's the picture. Go ahead and check that out on my Instagram. You can read through all the comments. Literally, there was maybe one negative comment to where a guy got pulled over accidentally because they thought his license plate was from some kind of murder or something like that, and they pulled the guy over. Uh, that was obviously a mistake on their parts, but again, I, I think you guys don't even really appreciate how much they do for you. I mean, you're probably sitting at home watching this on your computer right now, feeling totally safe, no one's gonna come rob you, nothing's gonna happen. Why do you think that is? So in ending, guys, support the police. Just know that they do a lot for you. If you're breaking the law and you get a ticket, you deserve it every single time. But that's all I've got for you guys here today. Just a great experience with a cop. Thank God he let me go. I think he was just looking for drunk drivers. When he came up, he had uh, originally asked me, have you been drinking? And I was like, no, I just got off work. And he just took my license and let me go. Said, hey, you're exhausted. <laughs> It draws a lot of attention and I'm like, yeah, I'm aware of that. But uh, again, that's me. I've chosen to break the law. I've chosen to get attention with my car. So at the end of the day, it's nobody's fault but my own. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, let me know what you guys think. Throw a comment down below. Let me know your best or worst cop experiences. And again, I think that you guys will find that people have had overwhelmingly good experiences with the cops. And uh, as always, I will see you guys very soon. Oh, <laughs>